Do you have the papers? If we publish this, we could all go to prison. I'm asking your advice, not your permission. Okay, people are concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper, that she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. The story of Catherine Graham is the story of a woman finding her voice, and I think Catherine Graham sort of opened up that Pandora's box for all of us to feel comfortable raising our voices and becoming strong women. You're talking about exposing years of government secrets. I'm asking your advice, Bob, not your permission. Early in her life, she was the product of her time. There just weren't very many women in any positions of power. I just talked to Kissinger, who was going on about the end of the China embargo. I think this is our cue, ladies. Well, 1971, in Washington, women still left the table when men had their big conversations. I don't know how you keep up with it all when you have this day job. No one thought a woman could run a company, which is what makes the story so extraordinary. If you publish, We'll be at the Supreme Court next week. Meaning? Well, we could all go to prison. I had read her book, A Personal History, when I was in my early to mid-20s. It was an incredibly inspiring story. And she, of course, went on to become one of the most powerful women in D.C., the first female Fortune 500 CEO ever. If we don't hold them accountable, who will? We can't hold them accountable if we don't have a newspaper. It's remarkable how many women there are in every single department making this movie happen with Steven. It's a beautiful tribute to Kay. They had us all get together and take a photo with all the women, the crew, producers, actors, and it was really cool because this is a story about a very strong woman. To risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life, well, I think that's brave. We felt Catherine Graham's spirit at work in getting all of us to work together. This is no longer my father's company. It's no longer my husband's company. It's my company.